Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to show you the new draw mode in Figma from the latest update. There's a lot to cover, from new brushes and tools to a completely revamped layer panel. So let's dive right in. If you look in the bottom toolbar on your right, you'll notice a brand new icon called Draw. This is a new mode inside Figma, it has new brushes. You'll also see a noticeable change in the layer panel with larger previews, making it easier to spot your work. On the right sidebar, there are dedicated settings that include handy sliders and various options to optimize your visual design workflow. We're going to discuss about all in detail. Let's start by checking out the new tools in the toolbar. The very first tool is the pen. It still works like the normal pen tool you were familiar with, but now it comes with some cool new features. Once you select the pen tool, a new bar appears where you can choose your stroke color and either enter a stroke weight manually or use a slider for a quick adjustment. This makes it really simple for visual and graphic designers to create precise graphics and artworks. Once you start drawing, a new mini toolbar with additional options appears. First up is the Move tool, which you already know from previous versions. Then, there's the brand new Lasso tool. This tool lets you draw around your stroke points rather than selecting them one by one. Just draw an outline around the points you want to adjust, and you can move or edit them all at once, saving you time and effort. Next, we have one of my favorite tools, the Shape Builder. Figma finally has a Shape Builder that lets you create any shape you want with ease. First, select the Shape Builder tool and then move across on an existing shape in your design. It will automatically detect the shape, and you'll see a plus icon appear on your cursor. Simply drag over the parts you want to merge. If you need to remove a piece, just hold down the Alt key while dragging over that part, and it will delete it. It's as simple as that. Now, let's move on to the brush. Much like before, you can change the color and adjust the stroke width using either a number input or a slider. But the real enhancement here is the option to switch between a bunch of different brushes. This means you're no longer confined to a single style, experiment with various brushes to create unique effects. And if you're using a drawing tablet, this tool makes it super easy to sketch detailed illustrations and artworks directly in Figma. Following the brush, there's also the pencil. With the pencil, you can quickly pick a color and stroke weight, and then draw freehand just like you would with a real pencil. It offers a natural, fluid drawing experience for when you need that more organic touch, and it's perfect for quick sketches or detailed work alike. On the right sidebar, after you've drawn something, you'll notice a few settings to fine-tune your design. This includes alignment tools to neatly align the points, and improved controls for mirroring, whether you want to mirror by angle or by both angle and length. You can also tweak the corner radius, adjust the fill options, and manage the stroke settings such as color, weight, and position. Here, if you click on the advanced settings, you'll see three modes. Basic, works just like the older version, keeping things simple. Dynamic, lets you create dynamic strokes by adjusting different values to get the perfect look. Brush, in this mode, you can add brush strokes from a preset library to any stroke. For example, if you want to add a brush stroke to a circle, you can easily do that with just a few clicks. And finally, one of the most exciting features in draw mode is the repeat. Now, you can create repeated patterns or graphics without having to duplicate objects manually. Just click on your object, then hit the repeat icon at the top right of the sidebar. From there, you can adjust the number of repeats, set the gap between them, and even change the layout to a linear arrangement. This feature opens up a whole world of creative possibilities with these new tools. Figma is more powerful than ever. You can now create custom illustrations and artworks entirely within Figma, freeing you from relying on external tools. Give these features a try, and let me know what you think about them. I'm excited to see how you all use these updates in your projects. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.